day whenever my curls are just being silly today. Um, I like back in the day whenever we were like on landlines and you could just sit there and actually like talk to the person and not um, not be interrupted or distracted by all the other things that you need to be getting done while you're talking on the phone with them. So it was great. I don't know how old you guys are, so some of you probably have never even used a landline, but <laughs> I have, and my mom still uses a landline. I don't use one now. Like, of course I don't use a landline now. Like, I... Hello. And so, yeah, I don't, I don't use a landline now, but they're great because whenever you use a landline and you... You are able to pay attention to like what the other person is saying. Kind of like right now when I'm trying to do this broadcast and do my hair at the same time, I'm completely distracted. Yeah. So another thing about the phone, my mom calls at all the wrong times. Like it's so crazy because whenever I call my mom and then she doesn't answer and then she doesn't call me back for like two weeks, like I'm fine with it. Like I just move on, you know, whenever she calls me back, she always calls at like the wrong times when there's like a ton of keys in my hand, I'm trying to lock my door or I'm just about to get on the elevator, or I'm just clocking into work, and so now I can't talk to her for like a few hours or whenever my shift is over, because I don't really want to talk about my break, because then my break will seem like I can have a break if I'm talking on my phone. And so, I'll, let me tell you, my curls are looking like crap today. And so, I'll just have to like call her back, but then, She's wondering, like, oh, whenever I call her back, like, hey, what's going on? I'm like, what do you mean what's going on? Like, you're the one that called me. I'm just calling you back to see what was going on. And then she's like, oh, I thought something happened. I'm like, no, mom, like, nothing happened. Like, if I don't answer the phone, she already has, like, thinking about the worst scenarios. Like, where were you? Like, what happened? I thought you were dead in a ditch somewhere. I'm like, no, mom, you just call at the wrong times. And then I had to like call you back whenever I was free. But it's so crazy because like she won't call me back for like two weeks. And so if I do call her about something that was like super important or that happened in my day, and then I want to discuss it, I want to discuss it with her. I don't know, I have no idea what I wanted to discuss because I can't remember because she didn't answer the phone. So yeah, it's like. looking a little bit better now. Let's work on these bangs. So, yeah, it's just a trip. Like, the phone thing is just a trip to me. Like, the whole thing about it is like... I'm always like, come on. I love my mom, though. She just calls it all the wrong times. I love that commercial when the, like, the mom calls and then she, like, asks her son, are you in a Zumba class or something? And he's like, no, mom, like, I gotta go. <laughs> That's what I feel about my mother. It's just always, like, the wrong time. Like, <laughs> it's, like, super loud, and she's, like, wondering where you're at. I'm like, I'm running around. Like, my mom uses a landline, so it's different for her. She's always, like, at home. She already put the volume, like, on mute for her TV, or... She's not even sitting in front of the TV. She's just literally paying attention to the conversation, which is great. I'm going to try that this weekend. I'm going to try to call somebody this weekend and, like, not be doing something else. Let's not burn our face. Bangs are always, like, the stressful part to get through your hair because you, like, don't want to burn your eyebrows or burn your forehead or burn your face. Cinco de Mayo on, what day was it? Thursday? On Thursday? So another thing that whenever you call somebody and, ooh, maybe I should have a curl right there. You call somebody and then they are in the bathroom, like using the bathroom and you hear the toilet flush. And you just call them and you're like, oh, I thought you said that you weren't busy. And they're like, no, I'm not busy. I can talk. 
but you just heard the toilet flush, and my face is like, like this on the phone, and so they can't see it, and I'm like, no, I'll just call you back, and they're like, call me back, I'm like, yeah, I'll just call you back, because you sound like you're busy, and they're like, no, I'm not busy, like, I can totally talk, I can totally talk, and you're, it gets so, like, gross whenever people are on the phone, and they are, like, in the toilet, it's annoying, I don't like when people use the bathroom when they're on the phone, like, it's super gross, and I'm like, so, did you wash your hands? Like, good thing I can't actually hear what they're doing whenever they're in there. You just only hear the toilet. Like, it's so gross. Or whenever you walk into, like, a lady's room and then you can hear the person in the next stall, like, on their phone. Gross. Like, I would not want to talk to you. All those toilets flushing and you're sitting there in the lady's room. Like, ugh, it's so gross. People just don't have any home training. And so... Yeah, like drives me crazy. I don't like when people post selfies of themselves like in the bathroom, like with their phone. Like, no, just wait until you have better lighting. Like, go outside. I don't know, but I know everyone's like, oh, but the lighting is so good. It's so good. But they had to do like a selfie of them in the bathroom with that great lighting. But no, like, it's just disgusting. So disgusting. Alright, moving on. So jet lag. These girls look good. So you know how like when you're in your own town and you're jet and you have your pictures and your pictures look so good, your videos look so good because you took your time, you got ready, but then whenever you go on vacation, what is this part doing? Oh my god. Curls are not acting right today. So but then whenever you go out of town, you're like so jet lag and the whole time like my eyes are like this. I already have big eyes. So then they just get bigger whenever I'm like on vacation like this like the whole time. Because I look like I haven't slept. I don't sleep on planes and even whenever I get to wherever I'm going, I can't really sleep because I'm in a place that's not my home. And so even when I went to Hong Kong and had to fly for 19 hours, I didn't even sleep. And so... I didn't sleep at all, like on the airplane. And I don't like to sleep on the airplane because I talk in my sleep. And I don't want to be talking to the stranger next to me and then they might talk back. And so if they talk back, then I'm going to continue talking. I have no idea what's going on. And then you wake up and they're looking at you and they're smiling. It's like, no. So I do not sleep on the airplane. I do everything I can to not sleep on the airplane. I give myself ballet bar. I, like, where I go in the back and I, I do ballet. And... I distract myself, like I watch TV, I watch movies, I color in my coloring book, I do all kinds of wacky things, I stretch, I get up and stretch, people are staring at me, and so I have to do all that stuff so that I don't fall asleep on the actual airplane, and then I end up talking to some stranger next to me, and they're like super duper excited because it's entertaining for them, it's not entertaining for me, I don't find it to be fun that I am talking in my sleep. So anyway, so going back to jet lag, and so then people pretty much don't believe me, I feel like, sometimes about jet lag. Like, I can't really talk to them whenever I get to wherever I'm going because I can't even see straight. My ears are still popping. Like, I can't hear correctly, so I'm talking, like, so loud, like this. Like, hey, guys, like, yeah, I, I got a good flight. And so, <laughs> and they're like, you're talking so loud. Like, we're in the car or whatever, and they're like, why are you talking so loud? I'm like, because I can't hear. And so, yeah. So anyways, whenever they're talking to me, I am definitely still completely distracted by being on the airplane and I just need to put these curls back right today. But yeah, I never like any of my pictures whenever I go on vacation or my videos because I just don't even look like myself. I look completely ridiculous in every single photo and that's the time when you like want to take like super cute photos and look amazing but you like really can't because of your jet lag it's nuts i'm gonna try to scope with you guys when i'm at work today too so you can see a little bit of the pool
the curls are looking a little crazy today. Like not as, they're just, They're cool, but I don't want to curl today. Whatever. It's not a rain today anyway, so who cares? Who cares what they look like though? So, I wish you were here. Nah, not really. I invited you, and you said you couldn't make it. You said you couldn't come, so...